Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, Berenice. Good evening, teacher. You were watching the video, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting tonight. Va a estar muy bonito ahora, así que nos van a, nos van a contar esa historia de ese cipote. Que, pues, bueno, ahí, no, ahí, ahí, ahí lo, vamos a ver si lo trabajamos individual o en grupo, porque este, algunas veces cuando trabajamos en grupo da problema, bueno, entonces lo vamos a valorar. Uh, pero por eso se los mandé con anticipación para que lo, lo estuvieran viendo, hicieran el ejercicio. Y empezaran como a, a crear algo para contarnos esa historia. Ok, vamos a esperar unos minutitos para que se nos unan otros compañeros y luego iniciamos, ok. okay. Recuérdense, si tienen pendientes todavía la actividad eh, del repaso, ahorita pónganse eh, a, 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 a ultimar detalles, porque sí vamos a, a continuar con eso. Okay. Okay. Mientras le damos el tiempito a los demás que logren conectarse. Good evening, Aidan. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Oscar, good evening, Oscar. Norma, good evening, good to see you. Oscar, can you listen to me? Okay, Norma. Yes, sir. Okay, so be ready tonight. It's a very special night because we're going to continue practice with some activities, right? So that we can... Um, we can have a great time, but at the same time to learn something new. That's what we're looking for, right? So that you can take advantage of time and that you put into practice what you have been learning lately. Okay, so I have uh, Daniel, Ronan, Oscar, Aiden, and Norma. I hope the rest of the people uh, gather soon. I will start checking the list attendance. Oh, well, but before going to the list of things, I will let you know uh, what to do, right? So because uh, tonight it's, um, it's uh, we are having a class in which you are, you are going to um, present something related to unit number two. Remember, um, if you are still uh, working on that, try to finish it, okay, so that you you. You can uh, get ready at the moment I ask you to participate, okay? So let me see, I will check list of teens. I have two for five people only. Okay, well. So Ronan, can you listen to me? I have Veralis, Veralis, good evening. Uh, tonight, 
is Friday, Friday the 38th. We are saying goodbye to June, people. We're saying goodbye to June. We are saying goodbye to June, right? So, and July is coming. Uh, all right, there it is. Don't worry, hey, take it easy. Para lo que van manejando. Okay, no se preocupen, vayan tranquilos, okay? Right. Lo importante es que lleguen con bien a casa. Y ya cuando estén en casa, pues ahí sí ya se ponen al 100% y no pasa nada, okay? All right, so we're going to start our checklist attendance, as I told you. All right, so Aidan. Belén, Claudia Verónica, Dan. So, Aidan, there, right? Very good. Daniel. Gracias, okay. teacher. Good. Dina Maribel. Edgar. Claudia Rubiria. Jonathan. María Elba. Mario Cristóbal, Verenice, all right, Michael, Aníbal, Norma Xiomara, hi, Oscar, teacher. okay, hi Norma, Oscar, present, good, Ronan, Teresa, and Veralis. All right, so, well, some people, of course, I know that you are, well, you, I know it's Friday and maybe the traffic is, it's really bad tonight. <clears throat> I don't know, right? But we're gonna start, okay? We're going to start, so be ready. I hope everything's all right. Hey, Michael, you didn't say hello, right? Give me a second, because I didn't check the list attendance about you. Michael is in the class. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna. Uh, we have a lot of activities tonight. Hey, I was just checking the the platform. I was just che che checking the platform, and I I could notice that every everyone is has already worked in it. Well, almost everybody, right? Ronan says present. Okay, Ronan. Michael is there. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh, listen, I was just checking the, the platform and I could notice that the, the majority of you have been working in the exercises and that is quite good. Uh, most of you have a hundred percent, but uh, there are six people who are still need in need of uh, work and finish the activities so that they can get a hundred percent. Well, let's give some means to Teresa and also to Claudia. They're just getting into the class. Well, I will say this message at the at the end of the class because you know today is Friday, and we need to finish with all the activities uh, regarding to this week. This is the week number two. Next week we are going to get into week number three, and you know what? We are we got into the middle of the curse, so time goes so fast. Okay, time goes so fast and we need to take advantage of it. Well, well, we're gonna start, I will share the, the platform activities. Uh, I have, well, I will start by, by doing the activities I usually uh, start with, okay? And notice that you have already finished with them. Okay, we're going to sub it, uh, sub them as quickly as possible uh, so that we can start working with the video activity and also with, um, I have another activity there, which is, uh, they will be a, a dictation, all right? So in that dictation, we need to work fast, okay? And put into practice our listening skill. Well, uh, this is the activity number nine in the platform. I hope you have already finished it. 
And um, we're gonna go over it. We're gonna submit as soon as we can so that we can practice a lot. Now, multiple choice, choose the correct alternative, the correct answer, right? So, uh, but I will ask this, in this time, I will ask you to go like, hey, is this the first one or the second one? No, you are going to read the statement fully, all right? So, yo no le voy a ir preguntando si es el, la primera opción, la segunda opción, no, ahora, para saber qué es lo que ustedes han colocado, me van a leer la oración completa, ¿ok? For example, Daniel. I have to pay the university matricule for study this semester. Yeah, okay, so that is his option. Thank you, Daniel. Option number two, Aidan. Oh, no, Aidan is Aidan. There are some people who are uh, like listeners tonight, but I, I don't remember who they are. Berenice, please, number two. Okay, so I understand that if you do not answer, it's because you're getting back home, right? So let's let's try with Edgar. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. Well, no, I think it, it will function better if I ask for volunteers, okay? So no matter if you already answer, okay, voy a, pre voy a preguntar por, voy a pedir voluntarios, okay? Porque veo que algunos van de regreso a casa. Entonces, este, si usted ya participó, puede volver a hacerlo, no importa, okay? Pero sí completemos este yes. ejercicio. Okay, number two, anybody in the group, please. They need to go to the immigration center to get, a, get their passport. To get to get their passport. Their, their passport. They need to go there. Need, yes. Okay, so number three. Ah, okay. So it's all right. So you can participate now. Number yeah. three. Yeah. She has to lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. All right. Lose. Lose. Okay, she has to lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. Okay, okay. she okay, it's an obligation for the lady. Okay, so we will see which was the best option of you here. Okay, don't worry. Okay, number four, my best friend. My best friend needs to relax yeah. before the exam. Needs to relax before the exam. And the number five. I need to see you as, as soon as possible. I need to see you as soon as possible. We're going to send it. Now, what to do? Wow, actually, you got to attend people. You did it in advance, right? So you have to pay the university money for study this semester. They need to go to the immigration center to get the passport. She has to lose 20 pounds to wear her dress in the wedding. My best friend needs to relax for, before the exam. And the last one, I need to see you as soon as possible. Why I could? All right, now I have 13 people in the in the class, right? So we're gonna go, well, uh, let me see. This is, a, this is a practice. So we're gonna start with the next, with the next activity, okay? So this is uh, activity number 10. Uh, I hope you already finished. Ya vi, antes de, antes de continuar, perdón, voy a hacer un paréntesis. Ya este, observé la, la plataforma y ya la mayoría pues ya tiene el 100%. Por ahí hay como seis participantes que todavía les hace falta para llegar al, al 100%. ¿okay? Entonces aprovechemos de esta etapa de la sesión para a repasar el que ya tiene el 100%, que no tiene nada de malo, que lo volvamos a hacer. Y el que no lo ha terminado, pues entonces, pues allí que vaya visualizando y haciendo las actividades. Activity number 10. Instructions. Multiple choice. Choose the correct answer. How often do you drink meal? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it the same way. Okay, vamos a hacerlo de la... De la de, De, la, de igual manera que el ejercicio anterior, ¿ok? So, anybody, please. 
alguien en el grupo, démosle fluidez a la, a, a, a la sesión, ¿ok? How often do you drink milk? I never drink milk. I am allergic to it. Ok. I, never. I, uh, how often do you drink milk? I never drink it. I'm allergic to it. Number two. Number two. Please, write the memo today. Please, the Please, write. You said write. I didn't listen. I'm sorry. Yes, right. Okay, so please write that memo today. Number three. I have to wear glass, glass to read have... my English book. Okay. <laughs> I have to wear, that's me, right? So I have to wear glasses to read my English, English book. I have to. Number four. Be Number four. careful. There is, there is water on the floor. There is water on the floor. Be careful. And number five. Yes, Marta rarely visit her mom because she lives far away from here. Rarely. 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 Okay, we're going to send it and we're going to say it. Wow. Great job. Great pronunciation. Okay, thanks for, for participating actively. Now, later, after this part, we have the the midterm. Okay, so the midterm is going to be solved at the end, people. Okay, at the end, we're going to solve the, 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 this is, the, this is a midterm, right? So part one, part two, part three, part four. Okay, so we're in, in case, because I, I hope we're going to have some time at the end. Remember, tonight is a night in which we are going to practice a lot. So do me the favor. I, I have something on here. Let me see. Is this one? No. This one is the one. Okay, so do me the favor, people. We're gonna do something right here. This is going to be a dictation practice. And I look for one that is not that long. It is only 17 sentences, all right? So it means that we need to finish it tonight. So I want you to, to work quickly <clears throat> so that we can check in and, and, and notice if our listening and our writing is working well. Okay. Vamos con este ejercicio. Esta vez no les voy a compartir el enlace. Ok, porque necesito que lo vayamos haciendo acá como grupo. ¿Qué es lo que va a suceder? Bueno, vamos a escuchar una oración. Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. Ok, ahí dijo algo él. Entonces usted cuando lo escuche, lo, lo digita en el chat. El primero que yo vea en el chat, lo voy a copiar y lo voy a pegar acá. Ok, y lo vamos a revisar. Y hasta que lleguemos a las 17. Ok, uh, necesito que trabajemos, que estemos 100% concentrados en la actividad para que logremos avanzar y que, y, y, y que nos aproveche el tiempo. De acuerdo. Ok, <coughs> so, no questions about this activity? No, no question. Ok, so. Be ready with the chat. Ahorita el chat es el que nos va a ayudar acá. ¿Ok? Yo no voy a digitar nada, solo voy a copiar lo que, a lo que alguien escriba ahí en el, en el chat. Lo voy a pegar y lo vamos a revisar hasta que lleguemos a la 17. Ok, so here we go. Listen carefully. Number one. Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. Ajá. Uh -huh. Now, the chat, people. The chat, please. Everybody typing, todos digitando lo que escucharon. Ok, hay got Aníbal. Vámonos con, el, con la oración que Aníbal compartió. Gen Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. Ok, ok, so... Si cometen algún error, no se preocupen. Para eso lo estamos chequeando. Uh, listen. 
Okay, so thank you, Jennifer. Now listen carefully, okay? And check. Listen and check. Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. Now we're going to check it. ¿Cuál fue el problema? Revisen cuál es el problema, por favor. Y lo corrigen, por favor. Ah, bueno, que esto lo voy a ir copiando. Jennifer, mejor. Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. Si lo puedo copiar. Ya. Yeah. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Jennifer, Jennifer Smith no. is a firefighter. Can I, can I, so check it there, please. So that was the first. The problem was that we, we didn't include the verb to be over here, right? So we, we're going to, we're going to fight, fire, fighter, right? So. So the word, uh, it's, a, a, okay, now yes, right? So fire, fighter. Okay, now yes, right? So Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. Now we're gonna be working like that during 17 sentences. Number two, please be ready. She is one of the first female firefighters. Okay, listen. No, 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 oops. Listen, listen. She is one of the first female firefighters. Okay, type it. She is one of the first female firefighters. As quickly as possible, please, so that we can continue. She is one of the first female firefighters. She is one of the first female firefighters. Okay. Somebody in the in the chat. Thank you, Berenice. Wow, that's really good. It's a good, a good one. So, but she is, she is one of the first female firefighters. Now, don't you listen to the person say she, she is, is one of the first female firefighters. She is one. Don't you listen that the person says one. She is one of the first female firefighters. Yes or no? She is one of. Yes. She is one of the first female fi fighter. She is one of the first female firefighters. Ah, and at the end, it's plural, right? Fi fighters. Okay, so let us check it. So, but that is, you know, that is spelling, right? So, phi, yeah, it's spelling. This is the problem, the H. So, phi, phi, but that, that was fantastic, right? So, try to, try to, let us go with number. She, she is one of the first female firefighters. Let us try to go to the number three, please, as quickly as possible. Jennifer works hard every day. Okay. Jennifer works hard every day. Let's hurry, please. She is one of the... Jennifer works hard every day. Okay, Dania. Uh, okay, Dania. Let me see. Jennifer works every day. Okay. So Jennifer, is, Jennifer works Daniels. hard every day. Jennifer works hard every day. Let's check. Okay, excellent. Number four. Jennifer exercises every day. Jennifer exercises every day. Jennifer exercises every day. Great, Aníbal. Great, Anya. Great. Let's see. Now you see. Jennifer. 
Jennifer exercises every day. That's Jennifer, right? So, but that was my mistake. Jennifer exercises every day. Let's check. No, yes, right? Good. Number five. It's getting she better. She lifts weights. She lifts weights. She lifts weights. She lifts weights. Okay, we're gonna see. We love is okay, Oscar. She like great. That's what uh, what you listen to, Aníbal. Okay, now listen. Oiga, es que creo que ese verbo si no lo hemos visto, pero es levantar pesas. Oiga. She lifts weights. Voy a tomar el de Veraliz, porque eso es lo que escucha Veraliz. No se preocupe. She, lift, she lifts weights. Okay, she lifts weight now. So the problem is in the in the verb es que en realidad este verbo no 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 se lo había presentado creo que es, eso es y eso tampoco que es que es vocabulario nuevo okay, listen what is the verb cuál es el verbo lift weights listen carefully she lifts weights she lifts Weights. We're going to correct it over here. Okay. So she left quaint. Now you know the meaning of this verb, right? And also the meaning of this word. Okay, so let us go over the next. Number number six. She wants her muscles to be very strong. Uh -huh. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She wants her muscles to be very strong. Muscles. She wants her muscles to be very strong. Okay. Let's hurry because we still have like 10 more. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She wants her muscles to be very strong. Okay, anybody in the chat, please? She wants her muscles to be very strong. Okay, very good. Now, that was jo hey, Jonathan, welcome, buddy. It's really nice to see you in the chat. She, wa she wants her muscles to be very strong. Now, listen carefully because the persons listen listen try to try to get concentrated if you want if you want saben que algo puede funcionar si sabes que cierren sus ojitos y que escuchen lo lo más concentrado posible listen she wants her muscles to be very strong okay she wants a muscle to be very strong or she wants her muscles to be very strong Listen carefully. Let's see if it is this way. <clears throat> she wants her muscles to be very strong. All right, so she wants her muscles to be very strong. Number seven, people. She saves people's lives every day. 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 Uh huh. Okay, Dever. She 
Remember, she's a fighter, right? Listen once again. She saves people's lives every day. Pretty good, Berenice. Okay. Pretty good, Everalis. Jonathan, all right? So, something that you need to remember, people. Recuérdense eh, lo que hemos eh, discutido en clase. She's, she saves people's lives every el, day. El verbo es save. Ah, y tengo tercera persona. ¿Qué sucede con esta oración? ¿Quién me ayuda? She, she saves, saves. The person singular, right? People. Ah, algo que les voy a aclarar acá con respecto a esto. People es la, la manera plural de personas. O sea, que esto es uh, personas. Eh, y como dice people, she, she say people's lives every day. People's, la, la vida, las vidas de las personas cada día. Let me see. She saves people's lives every day. Yeah, so let us check it. Every day was a problem, right? So every day. She saves people's lives every day. Number number eight. Solo vamos a hacer hasta las diez. She is very strong. She is very strong. She is very strong. Excellent, Daniel. Excellent, Aidan. Veranice. Uh, okay, and also Veralis. She's very strong. She she is very strong. I will check it quickly so that we can move to the next part. Good. She's very strong. Next. Jennifer is married. Jennifer is married. Jennifer is married. Uh huh. Excellent, Veralis. Excellent. Very good. Oh, excellent people. Very good. Now everybody's typing. If it's married, this is this is what's very easy, right? Je Jennifer is married. So let's check it. Jennifer is married. Next one. Number Her 10. husband is a school teacher. Her husband is a school teacher. Her husband is a school teacher. Great. Okay, I got one option here. Her, hu her husband is a school teacher. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, it's missing right here, right? Her husband is a school teacher. Well, we're going to stop over here. So we spend like, let's see. No, we still have some time. Let's see. Let us try to go over the number 15. Jennifer's husband is proud of her. Listen. Jennifer's husband is proud of her. 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 Proud. Maybe that's a new word for you. Hey, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Jennifer husband is proud of her. Okay, very nice. Jennifer, Jennifer's husband is proud of her. Great job. Now, listen carefully. Oh, uh, well, I will check it. Great job. Next one. Jennifer is a mother. Simple, right? Jennifer is a mother. Jennifer is a mother. Great. 
Jennifer is a mother. All right. Jennifer is a mother. Next one. She Number has two. two daughters. She has two daughters. She has two daughters. She has two daughters. All right. She has she has two daughters. But it's a lady, right? She she has two daughters. The H is missing over here, right? And you know the H is over here, and you don't need the H over here. Daughters, right? Okay. Now. Number 14. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Mm -hmm. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Type it, please. Use the chat. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Thank you, Berenice. Jennifer Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Now yes, very good. Number 15. Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. 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 Right? Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. We're almost done. We're missing only two people. Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. Okay, thank you. Jennifer is... Okay, so we're going to see something over here. Jennifer, Jennifer is happy being okay. a firefighter. Jennifer is... Happy being a firefighter. Good. Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. And number six. Jennifer is happy being a wife. 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 So we're almost done. One more and we will get a tin here. Jennifer is happy being a wife. Jennifer is happy being a wife. Uh-huh. That, that's number 16, and we're almost done. We're, we're just missing one. Jennifer is happy being a wife. You know, a wife, right? Wife. Uh, okay. Now, yes, right? Now, look at it. Jennifer, Jennifer is happy being a wife. 
Jennifer is happy being a, a wife. Being a wife. Of, of wife, no, a wife. Okay, good. And the last one, people. Jennifer is happy being a mother. Simple. Jennifer is happy being a mother. Jennifer is happy being a mother. Thank you, Daniel. Jennifer, Jennifer is happy being a mother. Thank you, Anibal. Good, very nice. Let's see. How we... Jennifer, Jennifer is happy being a uh, mother. This is the second the second time I see this this example. The second time I see this example. The second time I see this example. ¿Ok? No se puede. ¿Por qué? Veamos por qué. Si yo digo, si yo pongo el apóstrofe acá, con, con la S, puede que tengamos aquí el verbo to be. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si yo tengo el verbo to be aquí, y luego repito acá, tengo dos veces el verbo to be, entonces eso no puede suceder. O la otra, que si no es el verbo to be, imagínense fuera el, el possessive, possessive en noun case. No lo voy a escribir todo, me cuesta escribir. Possessive. possessive. Imagínense fuera el possessive. Tampoco no, no tendría como, como un sentido completo la oración. Porque si esto, si esto nos habla de posesión, o sea, Aquí no dice nada de que, de que a ella le pertenece algo, ¿verdad? Sino que Jennifer is happy. Let me see. Vamos a, vamos a corregirlo. Ya ven que es súper, súper interesante cuando ustedes crean, porque todo nos ayuda. Jennifer is happy. Being a mother. So let's check if that was, yeah, right? So not, so right. So we got 17 people. We practice with 17 exercise. Now, yes, uh, in, just in case you need the link, in caso necesiten hacer un repaso en el link con, o en esta página, ahora sí se los comparto. Okay, so give me a second. Remember, we are just focusing our effort to have a really nice practice tonight. Okay, then you have it in the WhatsApp group and also you have it in the chat over here now. We're going to go over an activity that I hope not to spend too much time on it. Actually, I'm thinking about uh, working on it like 30 minutes. Okay. So, but we're going to do the following. We're going to do the following. Vamos a hacer algo con este ejercicio. El video que les compartí dura ocho minutos, dura la actividad. ¿Sí lo vieron? ¿Sí lo vieron? La actividad del cipote. Yes, I see. Yes. Vamos yes. a hacer algo para que no vaya, primero Dios, no tengamos mucha dificultad esta noche al hacer. Solo voy a hacer dos grupos. Solo dos. Y cuando sí. ustedes in, estén ya en grupo, van a, entre yeah. todos, van a crear la oración, la, la, la historia. Nos van a contar la historia entre todos. O sea, cada quien viéndolo ahí en su celular. Oh, pero este y trabajando en la historia verdad hay cosas que hay que que pues aparecen ahí que no no están escritas o sea hay que hay que contar la historia hay que decir qué sucede hay que buscar vocabulario hay que usar lo que hemos estado estudiando últimamente o sea es una práctica muy significativa uh, le vamos a dedicar pues yo estaba pensando en en 20 minutos, 
ok, la actividad pues 20, 25 y al máximo, máximo este, 30, pero yo voy a estar chequeando ahí en los grupos, ok, el tiempo si, eh, eh, si en el grupo hacen que 20 minutos, pues perfecto, ya solo nos cuentan las dos versiones como quedaron ok, ahí se, se asignan quiénes son los que van a ir contando la historia que la, la pueden leer o la pueden decir de memoria como quieran ok, estamos listos Are we ready? Ready. Okay, so we're going to have group number one and group number two. Only two groups. So here we go. Be ready. Remember. Remember. Get concentrated. Hola Daniel. Hola. Good evening. Hola. Good evening. Hola, Hola. Video. Uh, yo ahorita lo voy a ver. Eh, yo he tenido problemas también para ingresar porque no me carga el video. ¿Y cuánto, cuánto tiempo dura, Daniel? Son como nueve minutos, más o menos. Vaya, falta creo, 15. Quiero ver. Este, este, para que lo podamos ver y, y, y después veamos qué es lo que. ¿Qué es lo que.? Va, ah, porque lo, lo puedo. El video? Porque lo puedo compartir en pantalla también. Ah, oh, vaya. Para que lo veamos igual. Ajá. Sí, está bien, vale. perfecto. Va, entonces ahorita voy a. Ajá. Porque así vamos apuntando lo que veamos, no sé. Lo que vamos bien, más unimos. de una sola vez. Ajá, cabal. Ajá, y de eso lo unimos. Daniel, todo. Daniel, I'm sorry to interrupt. Lo siento por interrumpir, pero no se, no se podría porque no sabemos si ese video tiene derechos de autor. Ah, ok, Entonces okay. ahí ah. sí este, nos complicaría. Mejor que cada, cada quien lo vea. Es que algunos que no lo han visto. Ajá, sería bueno que lo vieran. Y pues ya cuando terminen que vayan escribiendo ideas y ya de entre todos después puedan generar una sola historia. Va, está bien. Okay. Va, está bien. Así vamos okay. a hacer. Ok. okay. Uh, bueno, entonces volvemos quizás a las nueve cabalditas. Mm, ¿Quiero ver? Sí. Uh -huh. Por cualquier cosa. Y después... Okay. Okay. Conclusiones, Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. Lo siento por interrumpir. Este, eh, ayúdenme, por favor. A, a no, no sabemos si ese video tiene derechos de autor. Y pues se me va a ser imposible subir el video ahora en la plataforma. Entonces, sería mejor si todos vieran el video. Eh, cada quien en sus dispositivos sí. móviles y, y vayan a tomando apuntes. Y vayan generando ideas, de tal manera de que este, al final todos creen una, una misma historia, ¿ok? Sí. Ok, gracias. Gracias, Sichel. Sí.
sí, eso les iba a decir si sí, sí podíamos <risa> verlo cada quien primero y, y no sé, tomamos ideas para hacer la historia. Me parece. ¿De acuerdo? Uh -huh, okay. Veámoslo. Bueno, pues, ok, voy a desactivar mi cámara para terminar de verlo. No, yo okay. igual. Tampoco me carga, solo la página, pero no puedo ver el video. Eh, no sé si desde el teléfono. De acá no pasa. Lo vuelvo. Dice Mayor Daniel. Es que lo manda una a una a un a internet, no mal YouTube directamente. Sí, es una página, pero es lo mismo, el, las rutinas diarias, el, bueno. Ah. Pero Ajá. no aparece nada, todo en blanco. Sí, igual a mí, a mí no me carga, por eso. Lo que hice fue copiar el enlace y irme a, a, al propio YouTube, pero Ajá. no sé, porque sí. Ok, I have, I have already shared the link. Si tienen alguna dificultad en esa, en esa página, váyanse al enlace que compartí en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ahí sí va a aparecer el video sin interrupción alguna. Ajá, porque no nos sale directo. Ajá, hoy sí. Ah, sí, sí.
Hola, ¿ya lo vieron? Sí, yes. <ríe> La verdad que bien gracioso el, el video, ¿no? Está bonito. Um, no. Tienen ideas para hacer la historia. Bueno, yo hice mi versión de la historia, no sé. Cada quien tiene su versión, me parece, ¿no? Sí. Mentira. <risa> no tengo nada. Solo, solo vi hasta donde está la, el botecito de leche, nada más. No me, no me a, 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 a la misión imposible estaba ahí el, el muchacho. <risa> <risa> hey, yo, no, I'm, pero... I'm sorry to interrupt. You have 15 minutes. From now, to create your story. Tienen 15 minutos ahorita para crear esa historia, ¿ok? Ok. <ríe> me, me representa ese video. La mañana. Ok, people, I don't know if you already saw the video. From now, you have 15 minutes. Ok, 15 minutos. A partir de este momento contamos con 15 minutos para crear esa historia, ok. Ok. <coughs> bueno, eh, todavía no lo finalizo, pero ya más o menos eh, se sabe como inicio. <risa> No sabía que era un ejercicio también, había que estar interactuando con el video. Así que solamente era el video, entonces por eso me retrasé un poco. Y ahorita lo estoy solucionando nuevamente. Pero eh, no sé qué, cómo puede iniciar, no sé si alguien ya avanzó para darle seguimiento. Bueno, ahí tendríamos que ir describiendo las actividades o lo que le va pasando al, al, al joven ahí en el video. Vale. Ok. He don't want to get up with the first alarm at 7 o'clock and before you sell for alarm, he just turning off and the table alarm. Uh, he are very hungry by the sound of the alarms. When finally get up, uh, he brush your teeth and get up for milk and prepare your breakfast. Even though he was a bit tired, uh, he left on his way to work and woke up to realize that it had been a bad dream. <laughs> Bien, bien resumido está bien. Ajá, o sea, dijo una breve historia Yo se lo, se lo resumí <ríe> Oh, pero qué bueno Porque usted aplica todo Lo que es lo, lo en inglés, en otros mantillos, mantillos. Y, y esa palabra <ríe> Esa palabra Bin, ¿qué es lo que significa? Como Como que se dio eh, cuenta Bin lo vamos a buscar para traducirlo mejor, no vaya a ser, no va a preguntar. Hey, that, that's what I was going to suggest, eso es lo que les iba a sugerir, y escuché la historia, y recuérdense, es el trabajo de todo el equipo, ahí tienen que verificar, pronunciación, gramática, ok, porque parece que, no sé, ¿cómo, cómo lo digo? She don't or she doesn't? Ah, ok, sí, so, todos esos detallitos, acuérdense que vamos a escuchar dos versiones de una misma historia, ok, traten de dejarlo lo mejor 
detallado posible y este, tomando en cuenta lo que ya les mencioné con anticipación. Y se despierta y se despierta porque es un sueño. Ah, soñando que se despierta. Ajá, era un sueño, ajá, ajá. era un sueño. Y, y, y vuelve a agarrar una pistola y le dispara de nuevo al, al, al reloj, reloj despertador. Ahí, ahí termina. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces no sé, creería yo que habría que, que poner como las oraciones en secuencia. Eh, primero suena el, el... Ajá, amanece a las 6.59 y suena la primera alarma. Eso creo que sería la primera, la primera oración. Ahí sería y amanecer es el sunrise. Ajá. Sunrise. Sunrise. You can use a translator, you can use whatever that you consider it's, it's useful now. Ahorita vamos a empezar. Uh, okay. A una... uh, and also, también uh, le sugeriría que si alguien lo puede, el que lo está digitando, si lo puede compartir en un documento Word, eso sí no es ningún problema para que todos lo vayan visualizando. Vaya. suena en el equipo de sonido que suena el primer alarma en el equipo de sonido y después suena en el celular suena la alarma del celular porque después suena la del reloj despertador mm. 
Entonces la primera suena en el equipo de sonido. Es correcto. Entonces the first alarm song at sunrise in um, home theater puede ser o un teatro en casa o ajá o bueno en in, in um... sound system me sale aquí. Mm. Son sí, sí, sistema de sonido, son system, es cierto. Son system. Pero no podemos hacerlo. Porque el fruto no está. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt again. Pueden este alguien puede también este copiar la historia, veo que lo están trabajando en el chat, lo pueden copiar. Y pegar en un documento Word, a modo de que todos lo vayan visualizando. Luego compartirlo, a modo de que todos lo visualicen. Está bien, gracias. Ok, I will give you seven minutes more. Siete minutos más, ok, y luego comenzamos. De ser alarm seven o'clock. De ser alarm clock me pone, me sale. Alarm clock. De ahí pregunta, ¿dos he get up? No, he does then get. Up. No, does get 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 up. Get up. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, get up. Eh, tap the alarm. Bueno, pero ahí ya, bueno. No, ahí es porque sale eh, que uno presione o busque cuál es la 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 ajá, el reloj el, 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 la alarma del reloj. Uh -huh. Pero primero le, le dispara, le, primara, le dispara la primera, la, ah no, después de que suben la, 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 la tercera, tercera y, le, y no se despierta. Se vuelve a acostar. Ajá, se vuelve. Se vuelve a acostar. He goes to bed. Ajá, se da vuelta, se da, se da vuelta en la, en la cama. Uh -huh. Se da vuelta y... Pero, eh. Y se vuelve a dormir. Luego vuelven a sonar la, las alarmas. Pero ves, le... Ah, no, 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 no. Perdón, perdón, perdón. En la te... A la tercera alarma es que le dispara. Las alarmas? A la tercera alarma es la que le dispara el reloj. Bueno, pero creo que sería que agarra una pistola y le dispara, ¿no? Si yo, no, si yo, um, no sé cómo disparar, ah, no recuerdo. Dice, ¿Qué rápido ha pasado el tiempo? Acaba de pasar rápido. Grab a gun and shot the watch. Shot. Shots, S-H-O-O-T-S. Shot, shot. He take a shot. Ah, no, uh -huh. takes. Solo una, over. Dos O. Dos O. He uh -huh. takes a shot. Ok, investigate no, pronunciation, please, please. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> a gun and shot <laughs> the watch. Bueno. Denos más tiempo, teacher. <risa> well, actually, you're missing two minutes. Dos minutos. Denos y regresamos. Unos más. Denos unos cinco más para terminar. Ok, five minutes. Ok, no more than five. So... Oh, I'm sorry, you know. Ya no sacó, Zoom no sacó. Ok, yo no, lo, yo no, 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 no cerré los grupos. Lo siento. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go over it again. 
Okay, because somebody tell, told me that you need five minutes more. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo estaban los grupos. Vamos a volver a hacer los dos grupos. Y van a tener que cinco minutos más, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Se alarma está en el baño. Porque uh -huh. parece eh, donde están los libros o algo así. Vaya, y ahí vuelve a sonar la otra, la otra alarma del baño. Uh -huh. Se levanta, se cepilla los dientes. Eh, no sé si me están escuchando bien, que acá la lluvia no para desde ayer. Sí, con problemas. sí, sí, sí ah, se bien. escucha bien. Sí, porque yo tengo problemas para escucharlos. Ayer la clase de ayer no la escuché para nada, en serio. Intenté encerrarme y todo y no pude. Eh, Entonces, eh, la alarma del baño la apaga eh, a las 7 y 10 o 10 minutos después de las 7 luego eh, es donde está la botella de leche Si sí, usted escríbale rápido ahí a Eden Nelson, tal vez nos pueda ayudar. Él está trabajando en la computadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, si gusta envíe este logo. A él hay que Porque ya empezó a llover fuerte aquí y casi no les estoy escuchando. Hola, Berenice, ¿lo envió el WhatsApp? Oh. Está lloviendo ahí, dice, no se, no se escucha. Entonces... Eh, no, 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 no le agregarían otra cosa, otra, 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 otra palabra. Mm. It does want to get up the, the first amount, seven of the world, yeah. for the salt of God, just go for it. Uh, and... <laughs> Aquí donde dice you teeth and go for meal. Go for meal. Puede ponerle 
Él va por su leche o hacer su leche. Uh -huh. Go for do, do the milk. Or... Go for his. Si has, has milk, no sé, ahí puede, puede corregirme. Aquí, es que Berenice lo dejó planteado como que se pillaba su diente y después iba. ¿Por la leche? ¿Hacer la leche o, o a tomar su leche? Por mío, iba por leche nada más, sí. Ah, por leche. And prepare your breakfast. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y eso es a diario, podemos ponerle daily o weekly. Bueno, si representa la vida de uno, sería weekly. Mira, que le va a agregar algo más. No le he agregado nada más, ¿verdad? No, 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 pero... Sí, está bien. Sí, porque yo lo dije ya, solo el desayuno y pues ya de ahí solamente que él se se prepara para salir a trabajar y ya después de eso es que se da cuenta de la que era solo un sueño. No sé si le terminan de agregar algo más a él para finalizar. Okay. Ah, ya no hay tiempo. <risa> Repita eso, porque yo no vi el video, la verdad. Pero... Okay. Bueno, yo comencé un poco, pero igual no lo terminé de ver. ¿Te prepara para ir al trabajo? ¿y? Cuando se da cuenta en un sueño. Ya, en un sueño. Es only, uh, only dreamer. O dream, only dreamer. Sí, o una pesadilla. Como si quisiera que le una, pe una pesadilla era. <ríe> Por ir a trabajar, va. <ríe> Nosotros somos. <ríe> hey, hello, people. I was just seeing you working. And it was kind of fun when, the, when somebody said... It's, it's me, the one in the video. <laughs> it's, it's me every single day because I don't want to go to work. <laughs> por ahí escuché una frase muy graciosa que no, el, el que está en el video soy yo, dijeron por ahí. Eso me pasa a mí todos los días. Cuesta levantarse. <laughs> no, representa a todos los hombres. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. How was the activity? Difficult, easy, very difficult. A little difficult. A little bit difficult. But al final vamos a hacer un análisis. Que tan bien no funcionó la actividad. Cuánto aprendimos es es como el, el la, la manera de medir que tan bien está la actividad o que o mejor debemos implementar otras como equipo ustedes me lo van a decir al final ok ok so me imagino eligieron a alguien que nos va a relatar la historia English. group number one mm. okay, group number one let me see I will, I will see group number one Belén, Dania, Jonathan, Norma Oscar, Teresa y Vera Liz Bueno, les voy a relatar entonces lo que logramos escribir de la, del video. <ríe> bueno, the first alarm sound at sunrise in the sound system. The second alarm sound in the phone. 
the third alarm song seven o'clock in the alarm clock. He shoots to alarm clock. Does he get up? Get up? No, he doesn't. He goes to bed. Uh, then he's hungry. Then he gets up. He brushes his teeth. In what time is it? Ten past seven. Uh, what what is the is he going to have for breakfast? He going to have for breakfast tobas and milk. Then he watches TV and he falls asleep. He is sad. Ahí nos quedamos. <laughs> That was quite good, right? At the end, the person seems to be sad, but remember but, everything but, was a, well, it seems to be a nightmare, right? It was not a dream, but a nightmare. <laughs> okay. So that uh, was, uh, oh, Jonathan. Uh, sí, sí, quisiera agregar solo quizás el final porque se quedó donde él estaba triste, right? He said, okay, Jonathan. Um, while he is the elevator, elevator, and um, he goes back to sleep for a brief moment. And when he wakes up, wake up, he realizes that everything before was just a dream. Ah, so <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? Well, I, I could nurse you. You were perfectly in teams. Me di cuenta esa noche que si pueden trabajar muy bien en equipo, ¿sí? Eso Thank me anima a, a hacerles un reto más adelante. Ya van a ver. <laughs> Group number two. Aidan, Aníbal, Berenice, Claudia, Edgar, eh, Mary, and Ronan. Hey, guys. I'm sleeping. Well, I am reading it. He doesn't want to get up with the first alarm at seven o'clock. And before you serve for an alarm, he just turn it off. And the table alarm too. He has very yeah. hungry for the sound alarms. When finally get up, he brushes your teeth and go for the milk. He prepares your breakfast. Uh, after he gets ready to work, but realizes that it's uh, just a nightmare. Nice. He realizes that it was just a nightmare. That was it, right? Yes. Okay, so piece of advice is to, to both groups, right? Piece of advice. Um well I, I told some people to go when, when you have this kind of activity, it's like vamos a ver, vamos uh, a, a analizar un poquito. Cuando tengamos ese tipo de actividades. Este, siempre hay que verificar pronunciación, gramática, si coincide, por ejemplo, el sujeto con, con el verbo, ok, so, imagínense alguien hubiese dicho, he wash or he washes, he brush or he brushes, ok, todo eso, todo eso es necesario verificarlo, por eso en grupos alguien puede, puede decir, no, pero gramaticalmente eso no está bien, o eso sí está bien. Ok, aportar en el grupo. Otra cosa que sí le voy a recomendar a, a ambos grupos es que hagan un repaso de los um, possessive adjectives. Ok. Pero si, por ejemplo, alguien dice, um, he brushes your teeth. He brushes your teeth. Or he, 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 uh, he washes your face. Él lava tu cara, tú, o, o la de él. He washes his face. Okay, so we need to be clear about it, okay? 
So, but later we're going to have some, some review. Eso me sirve a mí como para, para crear algunas actividades extra, que si no nos lo pide el tema, pero bien, yo noto que algunas veces debemos reforzar algo, lo, ha, lo hacemos, ¿ok? Pero en, en, de manera general han trabajado súper bien. All right. So, next activity. Vamos con otra actividad. Origami activity. Yo sé que ya tienen todos sus, sus pedacitos de papel de colores, <risa> sus tijeras, su pega. Su, ya, ya investigaron cómo se dice pega en inglés. Ya, ya investigaron cómo decir cortar en trocitos o cualquier otra, otro vocabulario. Ya sé que lo investigaron. Ya sé que nos van a enseñar cómo hacer origami esta noche. Yo pues no tengo papeles a la mano, yo quería hacerlos, pero como de todas maneras iba a quedar el video, mañana en la mañana va a estar haciendo cada uno de los origamis. Ok, so, I will start, ok, I will start. Ok, this is another practice, people, remember, it's going to be, well, needs to be like funny, but at the same time needs to be um, a very meaningful activity so that we can uh, practice our English. Well, let me see. Vamos en orden. Let's see. Vera Liz. Puedo pasar después porque no tengo listo el papel. Okay. Okay, vamos, sé, sé, que haré, sé que voy a hacer una estrella, pero sí, este, no, no corté el papel porque solo tuve el de las prácticas. Ok, va, veamos entonces, los que, están, los que están listos, pongan su manita para ir viendo quiénes son los que están listos. No la vayan a bajar, por favor. Ok, excelente. Aidan. Ajá. What about the rest? So, please. Aidan is ready. What about the rest? Start. Tomemos ventaja del tiempo, porfa. Well, we're going to start with Aidan's activity. Okay, Aidan va a romper el gel. Okay, Aidan, go ahead. Okay. One minute, please. Okay. So please, everybody, be ready. Be ready, please, and raise your hand. Quiero que pongan su manita, eso me va a indicar a mí que ya están listos, ¿ok? <laughs> ok. Eh... <laughs> My presentation, don't origami. In a, a few step, steps, you, you can create the dough by folding a square piece of paper, of paper, of paper. Materials, a square paper um, of the color you want, black marker. Steps. First, fold the paper in half with two corners together. Then fold in half again, but only to mark the center. Fold the two, two horizontal points to fold the earth. Finally, fold the remaining tip, tip up to fold the snout. Paint the paint the Ace in the tips of the muscle as a nose. That was it, a Aidan? Finish. Uh, okay, uh, now, piece uh, of advice. Uh, piece, uh, okay, Aidan, go ahead. Uh, voy a presentar, uh, aquí lo hice, tengo elaborado. El... Uh, okay, give me a second, please, Aidan. Recuérdense, Aidan, por ejemplo, acá. Yo les okay. enseñé cómo pronunciar el da, ¿se, se recuerdan? ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es la clave? Si tenemos, por ejemplo, una, una, una palabra que inicia con vocal, ¿cómo va a sonar el artículo da? Di. Di. Ok. 
So, entonces decimos, let me see dónde está, perdón, mi maestro se me fue. The two horizontal, the, the two horizontal points in the other one does not in the eyes, the, the eyes. Okay, but that was fantastic, Era. That was fantastic. Okay, show, show the origami you got, please. Okay, uh, tengo que dejar de, de compartir, ¿verdad? Para poder mostrarle. Vamos a ver. Ok. Quiero verificar, permítame un segundito. Sí, ah, aquí. This is my origami dog. No sé si se logra apreciar. Excelente. <laughs> Now, try to do your origami, people. Hey, that it's, was fantastic. It's, hey, Aiden. It's a dog. It's a dog. Aiden is like very that was very professional Aiden. You, yeah you provide excellent edgar <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah edgar is going, to, is going to present his origami uh dog also okay now let me you see yeah okay. okay let's see thank you, no thank you gracias a usted for hacer su mejor esfuerzo Okay, anybody else? Well, anybody else? Anybody else? Please, 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 please want to see origamis. Okay, Berenice. Now, Berenice is ready. Go ahead. Yeah. We have an easy origami that is flower tulipan. <laughs> yes. We need a square triangle. Well, step by step, the instruction. The fold the square in a half diagonally to make a triangle. No me caen por el triángulo, pero ahí está. Es un triángulo. <laughs> And the step two, fold the triangle in a half. triangle and the step three open the fold and you just made in and make sure the folding line is facing up world and the step four is the fold the points on the base of the triangle of where has bound something well like that <laughs> yeah turn the flower over and the step say if fall back the side of the flower has shown <laughs> and you finally turn your flower over on the marble as you pretty origami creation Wow, that was awesome, right? Yeah, but wow, that was fantastic. Congratulations. Okay, I'm Thank really you. proud of you. Okay, Thank thanks you. for doing your best effort. Excellent job. Okay, anybody else who wants to present his or her origami? Because we still have like 20 minutes and we need to solve the The midterm. Well, I was thinking about solving the midterm. Tenía una presentación por ahí, pero ya no me va a dar el tiempo porque quiero que veamos el midterm. Pero antes de ir al midterm, quisiera ver si hay alguien más. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Please. Origami activity. Origami activity. Volunteers at one. Volunteers at two. Volunteers. Now, hey, what happened? 
I, I know I know you have the same. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think I know. No, but it, you know, algo muy curioso cuando están en grupos trabajan pero ya cuando se les se les pide a dos minutos dice Veraliz, okay. Okay. Uh, I highly recommend you les le recomiendo de que no se queden con eso, con esas ganas de participar. Después pasa el tiempo y dice, uy, ya que en aquel momento yo me preparé para la hora que el teacher estaba pidiendo voluntario, ya me eché para atrás. Entonces, no, es mejor, es mejor que cuando se recuerden, cuando estuvieron en los cursos básicos, de que tuvieron aquel, aquel coraje de decir, ah, yo le voy a entrar aunque cometa algún error, y, pero hay que hacer. Okay. Okay, Michael. Go ahead. Eh, bueno, yo solo hice el paso a paso escrito, pero igual no, no pude, o sea, no me quedó mucho tiempo para hacerlo eh, físico. <ríe> no importa, díganos los Ajá. pasos y, y nos manda la foto de cómo le quedó el origami en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ah, ok, bueno. Eh, muy bien. Today we are going to make a super easy and quick paper hair. Uh, let's start. To make the hair, we are going to need a square piece of paper. I'm going to use this one that is 28, 20 cm. We are going to start holding our sheet on the two diagonals. We open. And we are going to bring these points toward this intersection. And with this other one, we are going to take it to do, to this point and le leaving the biggest part down, we are going to bring this side over this line. And, and we do the same with this side we are going to bring it toward this line. We turn, turn, turn out, turn out sheet, and we are going to bring this tip in war, coinciding with this little corner. And, and we, we do the same with the, this side. And we are al also going to take this these two little points down more or less and this at this distance we turn and we already have our hair to make uh, that's all <laughs> only solo me faltó hacerlo física uh, don't worry uh -huh. don't worry uh -huh. todos van a compartir la foto del origami okay no vayan, a, no vayan a bajar una imagen de, 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 de Google y de ahí compartir. No van a hacer trampa. Okay? Like yeah. Ya. So ok. No, so. What, what about the rest? I think, who, who was the lady who was, a ver, Alice was asking for some minutes, right? Well, we're going to do something. Yeah. Uh, yeah are yeah. you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're at least ready. Okay, my origami start. We have a square of any size. We fold. In it, it in half. Then, the new. Then then to form an X. Así. This. Take it on the turn on corner in war. And the tip of the word. 
Uh, take on a tip and join in with uh, the previous tip. We unfold the van and van again in word and again. We found a triangle on both sides. The one, the trip um, in words into late. We fall, we fall to one side. Fall in and then out on both sides in right. Oh, you got a five stars. Yeah. Excellent. Wow, that was really nice. You, you got the star tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Hey, thank you. Hey, that was fantastic to see you and to listen uh, to your um, instructions. Okay. That was quite good. Now, listen, uh, well, actually, I have only 10 minutes in order to go to the platform and uh, to to see a couple of the exercises. I don't think we're gonna finish them, but um, at least we're going to start with it. I know the majority of you already finished, but for me, it's quite important to have some review on the activities. Well, I'm here, and this is people from the activities of the midterm, okay? Midterm, part one, midterm, part one. One. Remember, well, tomorrow I will, I will, um, I will work with the results you you you've gotten in this in this activity. So do me the favor to finish it. If you haven't done it yet, finish it tonight, please. So over here I have the first uh, activity that says instructions. Choose the correct answer. And well, we're gonna work. We're gonna try to work quickly. Okay, so uh, can somebody help me with this exercise? You have three options over here. With the sentence, the way it should be done. La completa. Please, please. Yeah, my boss. Sends emails every day. Good. Number two. My co workers have meetings on Fridays. Okay. Number three. My boss write Kiruartri. My boss writes report daily. All right, number four. I have a meeting weekly. Number five. People at work go to conference yearly. All right, so we will see. This is the first part, all right? So all of them are correct. Pretty good, let's move on to the next part. We have just a few minutes more, but I, I need to I need to go over at least to activity number two and three. Okay, the same happens over here, but this is like multiple choice activity. Choose the correct answer to complete the negative state. That's negative statements or sentences. Okay, so let us continue, people. Mari doesn't like working on Saturday. Thank you. 
Number two. I, my friends, don't eat lunch together. All right. Number three. How much do you want? How much do you want? Number four. I like going out on Friday. I like going out on Fridays. Number five. My sister friends don't eat meat. Don't eat meat. Okay. Let's check it. All right. Pretty good. Great job. Great job. Okay. So we still have some minutes to go over the third part. Okay, third part. Yeah. Okay, over here it says multiple choice. Choose the correct answer. Number one. My mother needs to shopping. She doesn't have with shoes. Shop. My mother needs. Yes. Okay, number two. Uh, I is have to study for the English exam to get my American guess. All That's right, it. I have to study, huh? Number three. Um, don't you don't have, have to. Go ahead. You, you, you don't? Don't have to. You don't have to get up if you don't want. Number four. Check the report. Check the report. Check the report. Number five. Right. Right. With blue ink. With blue ink. All right. Let's see. Number three. All right. My mother needs to. Number two. I have to. Number three. You don't. You don't have to. Number four. Check the report, number four, write a letter, a letter, and that's it, right? So, well, I think it's going to be, uh, we're going to stop over here. You know, there are more activities that you have to fit. Actually, there is one more, right, that you need to finish, okay? I think uh, part number four, and then on Monday, we're going to go over some other activities, right? Let me see. Yeah, mid midterm. So do me the favor to finish the midterm, people. Yeah, so this one is this is this is this is the topic that's coming on Monday, okay? This is the tema que vamos a estudiar el lunes. Um, antes de cerrar la sesión, ya ya pasé lista, okay? Ya no, ya no voy a pasar lista porque mientras ustedes estaban trabajando, yo estaba pues asegurándome de, de la asistencia. Pero eh, en lugar de eso, quiero aprovechar eh, haciéndoles un o lanzándoles un reto, un nuevo reto. ¿okay? Ahora que vi que pues, trabajaron muy bien en grupos, estoy pensando en que la otra semana, pues ustedes nos presenten algo divertido, pero muy significativo, ¿ok? En aprendizaje. Trabaje, trabajar una historia, ¿ok? Pero con efectos de sonido. Y esos efectos de sonido los van a hacer ustedes al momento de contarnos la historia, ¿ok? Además de eso, tienen que incluirle las, los temas que vamos a ir viendo. Este, la, la, o sea, esta semana, los que vimos esta semana e incluirle algunas cosas de las que veamos la otra semana. Estoy pensando que dejar esa actividad para el día viernes. Ok, o sea, tendríamos toda la semana para que los dos grupos, así como trabajaron ahora, este trabajen a partir del día lunes. Pienso asignarles 15 minutos en cada sesión para que logren, para que logren coordinar. Que no es que ahí van a hacer todo, sino que por lo menos trabajar un poco, coordinar un poco de quién va a hacer el sonido de la trompeta con, con la boca, quién va a hacer el, los sonidos con, 
con la de tambor, con la cuchara o algo, pero como que fuera la canción de cepillín, teacher. por ahí, ok. Pues ese es un reto, la verdad. Es un reto. De tal manera que se la pasen bien, pero que también aprendan. Ok. ¿Toman el reto? Nos va a dejar lo mismo grupo. Sí. Sí. Sí, voy a dejar ah, pues lo mismo. Sí. Hey, ah, y pues sean, sí. sean muy creativos, ¿ok? Sean creativos. Y sobre todo, sobre todo, utilicen inglés al máximo. ¿Ok? Utilicen inglés al máximo. Quiero que esa historia, pues, ya no sea de dos minutos, que sea por lo menos de cinco minutos. O sea... Uy. Que sea algo, van a tener toda la semana. Ok, el reto son cinco minutos. Son cinco. Ese es el reto. Teacher, pero, el... pero pregunta, este, eh, ¿será del tema que, del que hablemos? ¿Va a ser de todo lo que hemos visto o de lo que vamos a ir viendo en la semana? Sería, del, sería utilizar pues, prácticamente de, 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 de todo lo que hemos venido eh, estudiando pero este, haciendo más énfasis en lo último, ¿verdad? En lo último que hemos, que hemos abordado. O sea, yo quiero ver, en esa actividad quiero ver, que estamos reciclando gramática, pronunciación, eh, palabras, etcétera, pero también que estamos agregando algo nuevo, ¿ok? Ese es como, como el objetivo. Algo nuevo respecto a lo que vamos a ir viendo. Por, el, por lo menos el lunes vamos a ver Presente progresivo, present continuous, ok, for future events. Y dice for future events, ok. So acá yo tengo que, es, tengo que hacer un repaso de qué es presente continuo y luego llevarlos a cómo se utiliza en futuro. Ok, ya luego ustedes, ya teniendo algunos insumos, ya empiezan a incluir algo en su historia. Puede ser una historia inventada, pueden tomar la base de alguna otra historia, y este, trabajarla, pero lo más importante es que identifiquen gramática, vocabulario, inglés, o sea, el centro de todo es inglés. Ya lo demás de las cucharas y los pitos que le van a poner, y eso es para que la pasemos mucho mejor todavía. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece? Ok. Ok. So, hey, espero... Very good, very good. Ok, es, espero... Eh, miren, ese día... Hoy me las pasé súper, viéndolos y escuchando. El viernes no me imagino que, que es súper va a estar la clase. Voy a estar esperando con ansias locas el día viernes. Y lo último, ya para cerrar. Eh, fíjense que mañana yo voy a trabajar. A nosotros nos piden eh, que trabajemos un documento en donde vayamos ese, dejando constancia de su avance. Por favor, si alguien no ha terminado el midterm o las actividades de la semana 2, por favor, háganlo, ¿ok? Porque mañana necesito reportar eso, ¿ok? See you on Monday. Have a... Sure. Good okay. 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 Good night. Michael, Michael. Ok, sí. Uh, I, do, I do my origami. Very fast. <laughs> okay, okay. Share it. With... Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have uh, red paper. Oh, uh -huh. It's pink. <laughs> it is pink. Uh, it's pink. Okay. Easy, easy. 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 El lunes easy, le hace la, la dedicatoria a esa persona especial en inglés, okay? Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> my gift. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, to your girlfriend. Hey, see you on Monday, yeah. people. It's see been you, a pleasure. Good, see you soon. Good night. See you soon. Good night. 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 See you. See you, group. See you, group one. Uh. <laughs>